Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box hobby case, 12 box break, pick your team number 20. This is the last case before prices go up. The next batch of Bowman Chrome that we're getting, price went up on us. But big thanks to these shark collectors here for getting in on it before the price goes up on many of these teams here. Pick your team 20 on a Monday, the 4th. Thanks, everybody. Adam with that uh, last spot mojo, Diamondbacks. Th thanks to him for finishing off the break. Thanks, everybody, from start to finish for making this happen. No fillers. Appreciate it. All right. Fall is in the air. We've got the one of onekin is back, for those of you who remember that. The one of one pumpkin helping us look for some one of ones. In the uh, crisp, cool autumn months. All right. Sean is Sean is here too. What are you doing, Sean? Aren't you trying to get home? Don't get stabbed. I, can't, I, can't, I mean, you know, you know how my Raider brethren can get. They, they, they make it. They may get a little, a little goofy. Just take off your colors, Sean. Keep your mouth shut. All right. My Raiders falling to Sean Jaspi's Chargers. The dreams of the Raiders 17-0 season. Down the toilet. I didn't actually think they were going to do something that All right, good luck, boys and girls. Uh, wild card action this week. That's going to be exciting. Oh, parking lot. Bumper to bumper. Jersey's riding in the back. Good. <laughs> you know the deal. Right. All, all it would take is some, like, one of, the, one of the dummies in Raider Nation to, like, throw a bottle at your window or something like that. I wouldn't put it past him. It's in our blood. All right, box one. Here we go. You know, I have to say, I don't want to... I usually like to... Under promise and over deliver, right? We haven't seen a super fracture in a while. He's an orange shimmer, though. Pedro Pineda. Five out of 25. Nice start. Some nice color. Matthew G with the Oakland A's. And there's Gabriel Arias. 45 out of. Wow, listen to that rain. I know, <laughs> Ramon. It's 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 hilarious because like us in like LA, we're just like, whoa, rain. <laughs> Everyone else is like, it's been raining for months <laughs> elsewhere in the country, and we're just like, whoa, listen to that. We do. Let's fill up some reservoirs, fill up some lakes. There's Johnny Pyron, seven out of ninety-nine or a uh, green shimmer for Tampa Bay. And that's for Joe Parisi. Now, just in the interest of time, we're just going to sleeve those numbered cards just so our, uh, but our sorting and shipping team will take care of that before it goes out, obviously. Starlin Aguilar, they'll, they'll top load them. Starlin Aguilar for the M's, John Hyanga with Seattle. Great season for the Mariners. It looks like they're, I know disappointing that they didn't make the playoffs, but they definitely look like they're ahead of schedule. There's Ryan Howard, Speckle to 299. 
Are the windows up in your car, Ramon? Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had to double check earlier today. Wait, Sean Jaspi, is it raining in your area? Sean Jaspi is just leaving SoFi. Uh, Raiders fans were throwing stuff on the field after that interception. <laughs> Figures. Why do you care, Sean Jaspi? You're just renting in that stadium anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Chargers are just renting. Let Kroenke take care of that. It's not really your house. All right. This is all I got, folks. This is all the shade I have. This is it. I don't have the scoreboard on my side. Raiders problem, though. And I, I think a lot of you who, if you're watching the telecast, you probably heard heard uh, the broadcaster say this a number of times. Raiders just terrible in that first half. I guess maybe take first half unders for the Raiders. <laughs> for the Raiders. First half team unders. But they're, they're just not great in the first half and they just have to play catch up in the second half. And I don't know. That's something that they have to kind of figure out. Eh, they're a work in progress. I get that. All right. Let's keep working on this break. Next box. Sometimes these Dawn of Glory cards can be autographed too. We've seen that. There's a blue Jesus Sanchez. Blue chrome to 150 for Joe Parisi and the Fish. And there's our autograph, David Garcia, Taylor with Texas. Your number 18 Rangers prospect. And we'll do an autograph uh, recap at the end as well. So if you're re-watching this video, um, you can fast forward to the end. To 499, Jeremy Payne, if you're watching live, you're stuck with me for the next uh, 30, 40 minutes. There's Milcar Perez, Bowman first shimmer. Mariners, John. Second auto, where are you? There it is. Gilberto Celestino. Number 10 Twins prospect. That is for Coppola and Minnesota. Purple Chrome Cool Whit Merrifield to 250. All right, Joe Locus with the Royals with that one and next box. Who does everyone have in the wild card games, ladies and gentlemen? Tomorrow, that's a big one. Tomorrow will be, uh, is it Red Sox at Yankees or Yankees at Red Sox? Yankees at Red Sox, Garrett Cole and Nate Ivaldi. Who, who does everyone have in that game? It's a five o'clock start, so we'll be here. I'm back here again uh, at three o'clock Pacific, six o'clock Eastern tomorrow, so we'll definitely be watching this baseball game together. It looks like it's an ESPN game. be a good game. Chad Dawes says Yankees win easy. Yeah, I'm not sure who the Red Sox are. <laughs> I feel like I feel like at certain at certain times they've looked excellent. They sputtered a little bit, but then they looked good the last few games of the season. I guess the Yankees have been kind of inconsistent too, but I, I think I trust the Yankees a little more than the Red Sox. So 
Actually, MLB.com is not, I guess that makes sense, is not giving me odds. Let's see if ESPN will give us some odds here. I think the Yankees are slight favorites. Oh, I think they're growing as favorites. I think Yankees were minus, I think they opened at minus 110 or 115 or something like that. And now the, the line has crept up to minus 121. Yankees road favorites. Garrett Cole on the mound. And the uh, over-under is, uh, the run total is eight. Which is slightly on the higher side, I would say. And we got Armando Cruz. 56 out of 299. Speckle autograph. Armando going to Taylor. And the Nationals. Rita's number five international prospect. Nice. That speckle pattern looks really sharp, too. I dig it. And it's Christian Pache. The refractor that's non numbered, I think these are uh, image variations, from what I understand. That's Don Rab with the Bravos. Christian Pache could be. Could be, uh, I think he could be like a 2020 guy. 20 home runs, 20 stolen bases. There's 75 out of 199. He's got a lot of, he's got some good speed. An occasional pop. That magenta shimmer will go to Big Boys 007 and his Giants. I do have to admit, the Giants have been, and they're, they're an autograph for you, Dave. Sean Roby. Giants have been pretty surprising this year. Julio Rodriguez to 250 for the M's. I mean, the Mariners, they look like they had a schedule. And with guys like Kalanick really coming into their own, Logan Gilbert, Emerson Hancock, Julio Rodriguez coming up the ranks. They've got a, they've got a lot of interesting players, youngsters that could all that could all grow together. Who am I taking this Yankees Red Sox game? Generally for baseball, I don't like taking the the favorites. There's a lot. There's always a lot more value in the underdogs, but that's that becomes a, that's that's more true in the regular season. That's a little more difficult in the postseason. This might be like a, I don't know, just to be contrarian, I guess. Maybe you go like, there's usually like a, like a, like a spread in football. In baseball, there's like a, a run line. I think like a spread you could play with the runs. I think uh, might be Red Sox plus one and a half runs. A lot of these games are decided uh, are a lot closer than people may think. So the Red Sox plus one and a half runs could be pretty interesting, right? There's George Kirby, and if they, uh, you know, and I think the yeah, Chad Chad's a Mariners guy. George Kirby in the mix, yeah, they could win 100 games next year. You know, it's not like you can keep keep beating up on the Angels and the uh, and the Rangers. Their bullpen's fantastic, and I think the Mariners front office, with the way the Mariners played this year, I think they kind of owe it to the fans to maybe maybe really go for a free agent, a big free agent or two, splash a little cash, put some uh, put some high quality vet players around that young team. There's Logan Gilbert. And behind Max Scherzer is Julio Carreras for the Rocks. John Hyanga with the Rockies. Your number 26 prospect in the Colorado farm system. There's Shaylin Polanco, 76 out of 99. Pirates, too. Pirates have been, this for Joe Locus, have been uh, gathering together accumulating a number of prospects in their farm system. So they might they might be could be a surprise team next year if it all comes together. There's Emerson Hancock, I was just talking about him. Two oh two out of two fifty purple shimmer. 
right there. Remember, he was a first round sixth overall pick. So that's someone to look out for. John with the M's. Ooh, and a redemption. Luis Medina to 199. Brew Crew. That'll be for Capola. And let's see who's behind Cool Whit Merrifield. Ooh, blue refractor. I think out of 150s, maybe? And I like that the Topps Redemptions give you the, the team. So it's C, Chicago, Cleveland. I, Cincinnati. Jose Garcia for the Red Legs. That's going to go to Nick L and the Reds and a free top loader. All right. Next. Chad saying Marcus Simeon coming to the Emerald City. Could be a good pickup. Next box. What, what does everyone think about the NL wild card? That's a TBS game. Cardinals at Dodgers. Adam Wainwright versus Max Scherzer. Dodgers are heavy favorites. At, that makes me nervous. <laughs> heavy favorites at minus 216. That's a lot. I thought they'd be like minus 150. Minus 140 maybe. Minus 216. And the over-under run total is uh, seven and a half. I think the Dodgers should take care of this. Is Max Scherzer on the mound? Pretty confident with, with Mad Max on the mound. All right, we got Milcar Perez. John with the M's. We got 40 man futures, Jason Dominguez, 007 out of 150. Doo -doo 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 -doo. New Bond movie finally coming out uh, at the end of this week. Pretty excited about that. I don't really, even pre pandemic, I didn't really go to the movie theaters a lot, but I do like seeing. Uh, I think James Bond I'm going to see in the movie theater. There's Tristan Casas to 250, Purple Shimmer for Boston. That'll be for Coppola. The last run, last movie for uh, Daniel Craig is Bond. He's been a pretty good, pretty good Bond. There's Anthony Walters, Mets, Matthew with the Mets. And there's Freddie Freeman to 299. And that's for Don and the Bravos. All right. box. Oh, 
Wow, big Fangio's uh, Broncos coach saying player safety doesn't matter to the Baltimore uh, Ravens. Who uh, ran a running play at the very end of a what was a pretty much a, a settled game so they could have uh, so they could get they could, the Ravens could continue their 100 yard rushing game streak which is and it's in like the 40s, maybe 30s. It's a lot, a lot of games in a row with at least 100 rushing yards. Box. Ooh, and another redemption here. There's a Gilberto Celestino, ten out of two ninety nine, speckle parallel for Capola and the Twins. Helchris Olivares, green shimmer for John and the Rocks. That is one out of 99, the first one ever made. And there's Josh Winkowski's black ink autograph going to Coppola and the Bow Sox. Jordan Groshans, 235 out of 499. It's refractor for Toronto. Uh, Derek with the Bluebirds. And your redemption behind Jorge Soler. Bowman Chrome Prospect autograph, just a base auto. C, Cincinnati again? No, CL, Cleveland? Cleveland Indians. Gabriel Rodriguez. Gabe is going to go to Joe Locus and the Tribe. Cleveland, this is for you. And a free top loader. All right, next box. Thanks, everyone. Playoff bracket here. So let's say, let's say the Yankees do win. The Yankees would be facing the Rays. That would be a great series. I think the Rays, just too much depth, too much consistency. I think the Rays take that series. Maybe. It'll be a good one, though. Uh, and White Sox Astros facing each other. The White Sox have been, been cruising all season long. Does the rest help or hurt? Are they still sharp? Tony LaRusso has got to keep that team sharp, right? 
The White Sox. It's not like it's not like they're always in the playoffs. So this is, I think, I think they'll be well motivated against the Astros. There's Jose Buto, 64 out of 150 for Matthew G and the Mets. And White Sox have a lot of great pitching, a lot of great hitting. They're healthy. Number 12 prospect here. Mets looking for a new manager. The White Sox could be a really scary team. Maximo Acosta to 150. Blue Chrome, a little color match. And there, speaking of the White Sox, there's Brian Ramos. That is for Karen P. and Chicago. Number 13, White Sox prospect. Armando Cruz to 499. Nats refractor for Taylor. It is 380 out of 499. Christian Hernandez, Bowman first, Shimmer. Jay Remington and the Cubs. And Viandel Peña, 248 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for Taylor and the Washington Nationals. Number 20 prospect in the 2019 Gulf Coast League. Jesus Sanchez for the fish. Joe Parisi. That's the 4.99. 56 out of 4.99. Next box. the NL side of things. Well, there's Braves Brewers. Brewers also had a pretty comfortable lead in that AL Central or NL Central. And they've got to they got to set rotations and rest guys and get guys healthy and whatnot. I don't know what's gonna happen in that series. Wait, was that an extra auto in that box? Yeah there was. Thanks, Tops. Uh, Braves Brewers. Anyone any thoughts on that? That's a close series. Braves playing some good baseball too. I don't know. They're, I think they're a lot better than those 88 wins that they had in the season. Should be a pretty close series, man. And if the Dodgers get past the Cardinals on Wednesday, that sets up a Dodgers Giants NLDS. Ooh. My cousins are Giants fans. There'll definitely be some trash talking there. All right, next box. Maybe some more extras. I'll take it. Starlin Aguilar, speckled at two ninety nine for the M's. That'll be for John. And there's your autograph. That's Justin Martinez. Adam Harper with the snakes. Last spot mojo strikes again. 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. That's what they say. Number 28 prospect in the Diamondback system. Christian Javier, refractor to 499, 254 out of 499. Fred with the Strohs. Eddie Cap, Bowman first shimmer. He's pretty good. Dean number three prospect in his class. 
by Baseball America. Back to the baseball card says he earns a Carlos Correa comp. That'd be pretty nice. Jagger Haynes. Uh, the Shimmer, Joe Parisi, will get the Yiddy cap. And the Jagger Haynes with the Padres, that'll be for Karen. Number 21 prospect in that farm system. Austin Hayes to 299, 10 out of 299 for Gary and the O's. All right, final four boxes. So Mets looking for looking for a new manager. Who do they get? The Mets have, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, Mets have declined their option on manager Luis Rojas per team announcement. Decision on the remainder of the coaching staff still pending. A two-year contract had a couple options, but he's offered a position, a different position within the organization. Yeah, I think, yeah, there was that Carlos Beltran scandal. And so he went from, and he was unexpectedly elevated from quality control coach to manager. I wonder if they're just going to bring Carlos Beltran, or if they're just going to rehire him. Now that the original outrage is probably diminished. happening here. Angels GM Perryman on pitching staff, infield plans. What does, what does he want to do with the Halos? Yeah, acknowledge that pitching will be the club's top priority in the, in the uh, off season. Yeah, they got to they gotta figure out that, uh, that pitching staff. All right. Next box. Good luck. There's Hassan Kim, 152 out of 499 for the Friars. Karen with the pods. And there's Gabriel Maciel. I Capola with the Twins. That's for Grizzlebees. Got a big, bold autograph there. And Zach Veen, 37 out of 75. That's for John and the Rockies. I know it looks orange, but it's actually the yellow parallel because it's to 75. Hidbert Perez. And we got a Santiago Flores Atomic Auto, 49 out of 100. And that is Joe Locus with the Buckos. Nice one, Joe. Cade Cavalli to 199. And three boxes to go. Oh, Padres planning to fire manager Jace Tingler. Yeah, that's a, it was a disappointing season. After disappoint, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, after a disappointing season with high expectations, the Padres are planning to part ways with manager Jace Tingler after two seasons at the helm. Per MLB Network's John Heyman, 
via Twitter. The decision has not been confirmed by the club, who calls the news of Tingler's fire premature. Says AJ Casavell of MLB.com. Still expectations are that Tingler will be let go. Padre's shocking collapse has been well documented. It appears that the Tingler will be left holding the bag. Despite the frustrating season, Tingler will fill in his tenure in San Diego with a winning record. Yeah, the future looked bright for Tingler, who was handpicked to manage the club by A.J. Preller, who himself was promoted to president of baseball operations extended through 2026 back in February. And Preller's promotion came a bit of busy winter. But yeah, it's just didn't, just didn't work out. There were some injuries. The Tatis injury kind of got in the way. Pitching wasn't as sharp as I think that... Pitching wasn't as sharp as it could have been. Yeah, I think that is a little unfair to Tingler, right? Oliver, Oliver Sori is saying, I think that's a little unfair to Tingler. I agree. I mean, they just gave him all these new pieces. All these ingredients, and they're just like, hey, cook. You know, and didn't I feel like he just probably deserved another season to just kind of learn from the off season in the off season about what happened in the season. Give it another shot. I don't know. As you're on Alvarez to 4.99, Oliver is thinking, thinking that Bruce Bochy is going to be coaxed out of retirement. There's Eduardo Fernandez to 4.99 for the Brewers, Grizzlebees. Bruce Bochy going to the Padres. It's two fifty five out of four ninety nine on that one. And there's our case hit. It's one per case. Austin Hendrick for the Reds. That's for Nick L in Cincinnati. Wonder if there's odds on that. Next Padres manager is, is are any offshores posting posting odds on that? Maybe not. Michael Toglia to one ninety nine. Shimmer for the Rocks. That'll be for John. There's Nate Pearson purple chrome to two fifty for the Blue Jays. Derek. And another Brewer, Jefferson Cuero. Another Brewer for I Capola. It's like a personal box. You got both autos. Your number 10 Brewer's prospect. Ed Howard, 3 out of 25. Orange for Remington and the Cubbies. Two boxes to go. So, well, the Padres looking like they're going to need a new manager. Mets definitely need a new manager. Yeah, does, does, does Mike Sosha get gets called back into action? Dusty Baker might be in the last year of his. I would imagine he would get he would get extended, but by the Astros. But we'll see. Tom Brady, fourth quarterback to defeat all 32 NFL franchises, joining Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, and Drew Brees. Hmm, that's that's kind of neat trivia. 
Does Mike Social want to come back, Oliver? To manage? I don't know what what the circumstances was his what the circumstances were from his departure from the Angels. Was he just not just not his contract maybe wasn't renewed or was he fired? There's Ed Howard Aqua this time. 69, nice, out of 125. Remington with the Cubs. Got the orange and aqua. And there's Juan Fen, uh, 65 out of 499. That's true, you're right. That's a good point, actually. La Russa came back. Dusty Baker came back. Yeah, maybe the Padres look at... Uh, uh, that's Mariners again, John Hyenga. Uh, yeah, maybe the Padres look at at what La Russa did with the White Sox. And so maybe they go, hey, maybe we need... Uh, there's Drew Waters right there, purple chrome to 250 for Don and the Braves. Maybe they need... A, uh, a Bruce Bochy or a Mike Sosha to, to run that to run the Padres that could be interesting and there's Baron Radcliffe Phillies Nick Koba with the fight and fills yeah, I guess, I mean, then there's a lot of names that are. Clint Hurdle, is that name still out there? There's Alexander Mojica, 27 out of 499 on that refractor. For Joe Locus and the Buckos, the Pirates. All right, we made it, folks. Final box. Last two autographs. Good. Could Ozzie Guillen still be on the menu for, for a manager job? I don't know. Ozzie Guillen's mouth gets him in trouble. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, that's not a bad point. Who can man? Who can relate to those stars in San Diego? Who can manage those egos? Yeah, a guy like Ozzy, a big personality like Ozzy Gein. I mean, a chill guy like Sosha, Bochi, that would work too. But yeah, Gein's not a bad idea. All right, final box, final two autographs. Thanks everybody for joining and getting in on this. We appreciate it here at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you. We got Mike Yastrzemski, 14 out of 50 gold for Big Boys 007. There's another Milcar Perez speckle autograph. 003 out of 299. Yeah, Oliver thinks that the Padres need like a respected authority figure who's been there, done that. Yeah. They, they don't have too much in their farm system. They're all I mean they're all in, yeah. So they just need the the chef to put it all together. Saquon Barkley back. And last but not least, Pablo Abreu for the Brewers. I Capola with the Brew Crew. Getting the number 33 Brewers prospect in that farm system, his Bowman first autograph. We got a Christian Hernandez, purple chromed 250 for the Cubbies. That's for Remington. 
and Jefferson Cuero at the end. All card ship, all the number cards will be top loaded before they're sorted and shipped out to you. And here is your autograph recap. Thanks everybody for getting in and making this happen. I appreciate it. A lot of nice color. There is the one for Case. I like the Atomic Parallel. Some good penmanship for Justin Martinez. The Redemption, Gabriel Rodriguez, Cleveland Indians. There's that another redemption and that was Jose Garcia for the Reds. And we started off with some orange shimmer, Pedro Pineda. Five out of 25 for the A's. There you go, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for getting in on the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.